So what exactly is fracking anyway? It's not pretty, that's for sure. It's been called unconventional drilling for very good reason. First, frackers drill vertically, then horizontally, and then they blast open shale rock by using millions of gallons of water, sand, and chemicals at very high pressures to release the oil and gas. That's the quick story of fracking. Now here's the dirty little secret of fracking. And it's really dirty. Fracking wastes and contaminates an obscene amount of water. An estimated 5 to 10 million gallons of water is used for just one fracking cycle. That's almost 16 Olympic pools worth of water. Drilling operations pump some 750 chemicals into the frac water before unleashing it underground. And the EPA isn't privy to the exact identity of all these chemicals. But we do know that at least 65 of those chemicals are listed as hazardous by the federal government, potentially causing kidney, liver, heart, blood and brain damage through prolonged exposure. Not cool, frackers. In 2014, researchers linked a series of earthquakes in Ohio with fracking wells. Catch that? earthquakes in Ohio. Not natural. That same year, just one spill resulted in the poisoning of 70,000 fish killed in a once pristine stream. From 2011 to 2013, fracking-related companies contributed $1.8 million to Ohio political parties and candidates. See what's going on here? There are better ways to produce energy. Clean ways. Environmentally friendly ways. Save the earth so your grandkids still have some kind of ways. We hope you'll join us in advocating for cleaner energy and against fracking. Learn more info about fracking and how you can help at the oec.org slash act fracking.